Oh, hello. It's been a while since I've seen one of you. No! Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular, and welcome back to Pacific Drive. Let's get into it. Okay, we're back into the garage. Got old car here. Uh, Bluey, maybe. I don't know. I still can't think of a name. So I don't really remember what I was doing last time. It's It's been a minute since I played. Oh, crap! I have, uh, 6.1 K-Lim with stable energy. Okay, what, what can I do with that? Okay, so in order to continue down the refined path, I need unstable energy. Oh, yeah, I should get the light replacement kit and the electrician's kit so that I can fix my car. Yeah, I can do that. There's the light replacement kit, and the electrician's kit is 0.8 K-Lim. Not too bad. Oh. Okay, what else can I get here? Could update, upgrade my headlights. Might not be a bad idea. Get side floodlights. Could upgrade my steel doors or steel bumpers. Oh, I could finally get the off-road tire. That would put me one step closer to the all-terrain. Oh, side storage could come in useful. Could, could come in handy. Okay, so the limb pulse emitter eventually will lead to the mobile workbench, which would allow me to craft more complex items on the road. I think that would be very useful to work toward. And it would also help with like bunnies and stuff, so let's let's do it. Let's get the limb pulse emitter. Which is apparently an item that I have to craft. Awesome. I wonder if I can afford it. Okay, there we got the light replacement kit, which requires a bulb, and the electrician's kit, which I can craft right away. Might as well. And the limb pulse emitter! I can afford this! Nice. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Where does it, uh... How, how do I put it in the car? What, what do I do with it? How do I... How do I put this thing on? Wow, that's huge! Oh, is it a type of, uh... Is it a type of bumper? Hold up. How do I drop things? I don't remember. There we go. Is that a bumper? Let me try. Oh, interesting! It's a bumper! Okay, so I guess I'll just throw this screwed bumper into the Stargate over here. Get back the component resources. That's a really nice thing to have. Okay, so I don't remember this dumpster pearl being in here. Okay, so let's try putting the dumpster pearl in the matter deconstructor. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! It's still going! Dang! There's a lot of good stuff in there, but pink paint? Yeah, what all did we get here? Plenty of duct tape, steel sheets, a little bit of plastic and canned food, scrap metal, glass shards, pink paint, teal paint, and a flat tire! Or no, no, the fire tire. What is that? Get these out. How big is that? Oh, that's not... Oh, it's a cosmetic! Yes! I love cosmetics! Okay, so what is the fire tire? Let's burn some rubber. Okay. They look the same. Oh! Oh! Ha! Ah, look at that! Got a little... Got a little decal on the front of the car. I like that. Okay, I am missing a left headlight. Uh, let's go ahead and fix the problem. Yeah, so when the trunk is closed, the horn honks, and I need an electrician's kit to fix that. So let's go ahead and do that. Hello. That's a bit trippy. Car whisperer, diagnose and cure a quirk. It should be fixed. Let's let's see. Hey hey. It's not beeping at me. That's a good car. Okay, I want to see what else I can afford. I'm tempted to just go ahead and get the headlight because it's only half a K limb. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'm also tempted to go ahead and get steel door because I think that would be... It's also half a K limb and I think it would be better than the crude doors for sure. If you want to actually compare the two, the crude door has a health of 30 with zero impact resistance. And the steel door has a health of 40 with 5% impact resistance. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get the steel door as well. 
I'm also kind of tempted to get the steel bumper, but that's also half a K limb, and I am down to 2.8, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's think about it. Yeah, so the off-road tire is 1.5. I wonder if the large fuel can would be a good upgrade for 0.7. Yeah, interesting. So, uh, the jump jacks, which is the next step toward the mobile workbench, it requires a seat rack and one K limb of stable energy. Okay, I need to do another side rack before I can unlock a seat rack. And that side rack is gonna cost me one K limb. So I don't think I can get the I don't think I can get the jump jacks right now. Oh wow, the turbo light engine is four K limb of stable energy? That's crazy. I wonder if the expanded locker would be a good investment right now. So I'm kinda curious what the fax machine does. It's only 0.3 K limb. And I need a circuit board. Can I make a circuit board right now? I can make a circuit board right now. Huh. Okay, I'm also gonna make a headlight. There we go. And I'll go ahead and store these other paints over here. That's teal and pink. We've got gray, light blue, green, and blue. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a circuit board. Let's get this fax machine, whatever it is. Okay, so where does this go? Oh, okay. So what are you? Okay, well I got a red light beeping. Faxmates BBS transmission fragment is known by a variety of aliases including the Rainforest Rogue, the Washington Wanderer, the Green Avenger, McKnife, or simply Scott. State police are frustrated by interagency bureaucracy and miscommunication that prevents them from pursuing subjects into the Olympic Peninsula, where military police insist only they have jurisdiction. Local politicians also feel this increasingly secretive. Okay, so what is... What is this for? Why, do, why does that also highlight with a white outline? It's the same... I am confused. Okay, so in the logbook, the fax machine, it just says curious. This frequency analyzer and X tractor machine shouldn't be receiving anything. Is it even hooked up to the phone lines? So, I don't know what it's really for. Okay, can I still not make a lightning rod? Oh, I can make a lightning rod. Heck yeah, let's make a lightning rod. So I think this goes on the side rack. Yes. Hey, hey, I now have a lightning rod. You can't really see the thing. Looks like it goes up pretty high. Cool. Oh yeah, I think I wanted to make more steel doors. Yes, so let's go ahead and make some steel doors. Okay, so first I'll just remove all of the crude doors that I don't need. Throw them in the matter deconstructor. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. So I think that just because I'm running low on the blue paint, I might color my doors a different color than the chassis. Ch chassis. I, I don't know how you're supposed to really pronounce that, but anyway. Oh, do I have enough chemicals to make the uh, repair putty? Okay, yeah, I have enough for one repair putty. Do I have any in the storage here yet? Oh wow, I didn't empty out my car last time. What? What am I doing? Get all those door pieces up. Right, so I've got my busted crude headlight. I'll go ahead and put in my backpack. Along with a flare gun, a battery jumper, some first aid kits, and some MREs. Okay. Yeah, I think some expanded storage might not be a bad idea, because this is my second locker. And this is my first locker. So, yeah, the expanded locker is only half a K limb, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. That's a much bigger locker. Whoa, look at that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take everything from this locker um, and put them over in the new expanded locker instead. Let's throw the crude headlight and the matter deconstructor while we're at it. Oh, interesting. I got road flares out of my headlight. I could have sworn I had more steel sheets 
Oh, yeah, because I was making the steel doors. That's what the deal is. But how many more steel doors can I make? With what I've got. I mean, I can craft steel sheets if I need to, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, so let's get door on there. Let's get a door on there. And I think there's one more right over here. Alright, so the default color seems to be black. Let's see, what would what would look good with blue? Red orange, that would be a good complementary color. I mean, maybe I could make the doors light blue? I don't know. Or teal? You know what? Let's just go with pink. You know, I'm I'm secure in my masculinity. <laughs> that is so pink! Oh my goodness! That is like next level right there. That is like... <laughs> that is like Barbie pink. Oh my gosh. That's intense. So why does this have a wood panel on it, but the others don't? I'm confused. I almost want to just make a new steel door and scrap this one so that I can have un uniformity. That's probably like a decal thing that I can unlock at some point. Okay, so th there's a bobblehead category, a mirror category. You got steering wheel, shifter, hood ornament, antenna, and then left and right stickers. I mean, I think I may have said this before. It may be a piece of junk, but it's my junk. And then I've got summer tires on all of the tires. Yep. All of the tires are summer tires, rather. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a repair putty. And I'm gonna put one on this, the driver's side door. And then I'll put the rest of it in the trunk. That is such an eyesore. I love it. Okay, I could afford a couple more things because I got two stable energy. So steel bumpers are only half a KLM. Or I could go ahead and get the off-road tire because I, I really, I think I really want the all-terrain tire ultimately. And this is another step on that road, but it's 1.5 KLM. It's kind of expensive. Oh, what the heck, I'm getting the off-road tire. I'm curious what the all-terrain costs. One KLM of unstable energy, which I have not discovered yet, of course. Okay, so I think, uh, you see how on the top there, some of them are white and some of them are yellow? I think the yellow ones are the ones that I can actually afford an upgrade, and the white are the ones where I can't afford any upgrades. See, I'm kind of tempted to just go ahead and get the steel bumper, just, just because I can. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the steel bumper. And then I'll go ahead and craft one of those up here. Uh, take off this piece of crap. Let's get this nice one on there. Boom! Yeah, I think black works for now. Alright, let's go ahead and move back to the zone. You trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about 10 miles west of you. In zone terms, consider me on another planet. There's a valley of perpetual instability in closing my corner of the zone, and yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. <sighs> Leave an old woman in peace. I guess I had just assumed that she was closer to me. Interesting. Wait, I thought I was supposed to cross into the middle mid-zone crossing. Yeah, junction G1? Is this... what? Okay, I'm gonna try junction G1. Because that seems to be moving in the right direction, at least. I'm sorry, anchor party? Okay. Alright. Going back into the zone and... <laughs> oh man, that, I'm still not used to that pink. Alright, let's go. Here we go again. Same old song again. Driving down the avenue. Two more junctions and we'll be through. Hey, Junction G8, train station, town center, damp forest, outer zone. Right, I'm gonna put on my parking brake and take a look at the map here. Okay, so I'm entered into this one. Oh, there's a charging station down there, that's nice. I need to go that way. And I think this... Junctions and access roads. You'll often stop at multiple junctions on a drive into the zone. The only way to reach the next junction is via the gated access roads, which are the automatically blocked. The device needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. 
You'll have to feed anchors to the Octavice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Okay. When the barricade is lowered, the way is open for you. The remnants are like us, in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? <sighs> There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now, there's no one to get in our way. All right, let's grab this arc device. Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not, won't be my problem at that point. I'd hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this and ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, are be brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Boy, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're setting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. Oh. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, RP. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. Look at that. Got a... That's an interesting looking piece of scrap. Got armored doors on it. Wow. Oh, there's a pneumatic deposit box here as well. Anomaly studies. Does this not have a... Uh... Huh, I guess there's not a... Gas pump. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so let's get moving on. Oh, it looks like my bumper needs... Yeah, that could use a little bit of repair, buddy. But I thought that this, uh, the station that I was at was supposed to help me repair things. Now oh, whatever. Okay, so I want to go... I want to try to hit that before moving on to the next exit. Actually, I'll set my waypoint for there, just so I know, like, what direction down the road I should drive. Alright, back on the road again. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. I don't want to spend too much time here because we don't have perpetual stability. So I'm going to skip most of the wrecked cars. The priority is getting that arc device and then making my way to the, to the exit. Ooh. Hello. I think these usually have some stuff in the back. Or not. Oh, it's a fuel truck! Well, while I'm here, I might as well try to fill it up. Oh, uh, it couldn't stretch all the way. I will go ahead and fill up my fuel can. Alright, I'm running down battery, so I'm gonna just get out of here and take the road up this way. Well, want to avoid the left, right. Ooh. So I got another one of those deposit boxes here. Pneumatic deposit box. What is that? Decal? Heck yeah. Give me that. And more blue paint! Okay. So I can get rid of the eyesores. Okay, let's get back on the road. It'd be nice if I could choose like what time of day I went out into the zone as well. Ooh, what is this? Hey, what have we got here? 
Oh boy, a lot of stuff. So we got crimson paint, more blue paint, some light blue paint, off white, and another pry bar dog sticker. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep that pry bar in the trunk as an extra. Yeah, I have a bad feeling that if I stay here too long, then I'm gonna get an instability storm. But I don't know. And I've still got a whole nother area to go to after this before I can go home. So I probably shouldn't waste too much time here. So can I set one of these to do something? So like F for example? Okay, so I can make F the limb pulse emitter. Yeah. And let's make space bar the handbrake. Cool. Okay, so it looks like they're like, hold up. It looks like there might be something up with my tire. Oh, it's, okay. I think I've, was it a mechanics kit that fixes that? Here, I should probably actually diagnose the problem first. Yeah, so it's loose and I need a mechanics kit to fix it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and make a mechanics kit. There we go. Put the rest of this crap in my trunk. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, I just want the arc device. I might go off-road a little bit here. Whoa. Oh, okay, just on the edge of a left right there. Okay, let's get over this can opener before it comes for me. Speak of the devil. Oh, hello. You were close. Go. What is happening right now? Holy crap, I'm almost dead! What just happened? Getting out of here, getting out of here, getting out of here. Goodbye. What in the world was that? Let's get some food in me. Maybe, uh, maybe an MRE would help. Let's check this pneumatic deposit box. Oh, I got a bulb. Theories. I'm gonna have another MRE and probably just keep the other one on me. Yeah. And one more MRE. For good measure. And that's my cue to get the heck out of Dodge. Holy crap. Alright, so I think I wanna just turn around. Yeah, I do not want to jump the thing, but thank you very much. Yeah, so I think I want to go through this town and take a right. Well, the, the road is going to go right. Oh, no. Okay, interesting. That didn't seem to hurt a whole lot. Yeah, so it looks like it should be a more or less straight shot from here. Really, that's that storm is pretty slow coming. I wonder... Okay. This is really stupid. I shouldn't be doing it, but I'm gonna check these. I'm gonna check this house at least. See what I can find. Okay, we got a dumpster. Dresser. Ooh, a TV. Got a crate. And I think that's pretty much it. A backpack. The road player. Okay. Yeah, I don't see much else here. I mean, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're still doing we're still doing okay. We're we're still fine. Um. Yeah, I think it's just a straight shot through here. Oh, we got another big dance here. Let's take this opportunity to top off the tank. Or no, I need to be facing the other way, don't I? Crap. Pull in on this side. 
Let's get that topped off. There we go. I think there was a friendly dumpster here. Aha! What do you got? Ooh, is that a dumpster pearl? Heck yeah. Very nice, very nice. Let's check the interior. Oh, there's a workbench! Holy crap! That's cool. I didn't know you could find workbenches out in the zone. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat that food now. Get some more dumpsters on the back. They're not the friendly ver variant though. All right, yeah, let's get that all loaded in. Oh man, my trunk is almost full already. What the heck? I should really get some more storage space. Okay, the yellow's moving in slowly but surely, so let's let's keep moving. And I think it's just straight down this way. Yeah. Oh, there's a tunnel. All right, I'm through the tunnel. And here's a gate right here. Beautiful. Okay, where are you taking me next? All right, so the junction condition at this next one is anchor party. I have no idea what that means. Okay, Junction G1, Research Outpost, Town Center, Blistering Woods, Outer Zone. Let's look at what the anchor party is. Chance, coincidence, or an attempt to control instability mean this part of the zone is crammed with anchors. Oh! That's actually great! Hello! Yeah, so let's go... Let's go for this one first. So I'm just gonna go down that way, take... Right, so I'm gonna take the first right and then the next left after that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna collect as much... Wow, this is a huge tunnel. My goodness. Just gonna collect as much stable energy as I can hold. And then I'm gonna go back... Go back to the garage. Because it sounds like I need stable energy to enter the mid-zone. Okay, yeah, it was the first right. Yes. And then the next left. Alright, hard to part! I feel like my car is not going as fast as it used to. Maybe I need a more gas guzzling engine. What is what is that? Can I scan it? Doesn't appear like I can scan it. Oh, there we go. Airstrip. Oh, interesting. This one is from Francis. Got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid it's bad news. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna read that. There's honestly just too much lore in this game. <laughs> and the fact that I can't just pause and leisurely read through it is a little bit... Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. Except I, I don't necessarily want this to be a lore channel. I want it to be like a gameplay channel. You know, if I ever do something like Call of the Sea, then, then I don't mind sitting there and reading the journal entries, but but for this game, there's just too much. Too much to read. Well, my trunk is full. Okay, I should be fairly close to the arc device. Or the anchor, rather. There it is. Alright, let's grab this. And move on to the next one. Boom. Right, so I think there's another one in this little center down here. Why is it... Huh, that's a weird bug. Like, the closer to that I get, the farther away it wants to place the waypoint. So let's just not do a waypoint then. Okay, let's just follow this road up to there, grab the thing, and then come across back over to this road and down there. Oh, it's been a minute since I've seen you tourists around. Sliding around a little bit there. Okay, so let's follow this. Man, this is a really slippery area. I'm afraid my battery isn't going to last much longer. I can't get a charge or something. Oh, it's a good thing I have the, the cable jumper in the trunk, actually. Yeah, I should have made some off-road tires while I was thinking about it. Oh, I think I saw the the battery level go up there because I guess of my, my lightning rod. Maybe I should drive through more electronic anomalies. Or electric anomalies, rather. 
Okay, I think this is where I want to be. There we go. Grab you. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you! I actually really appreciate that, Mr. Tourist. A shocked tourist. You're, you're a different anomaly altogether. Okay. Yeah, just just, tra just charge it on my battery for me. I really appreciate that. Oh crap. Nope, that doesn't seem... Hold up, what's going on? Are you okay, car? You good? Your battery level's going up. Oh, hello. It's been a while since I've seen one of you. No! Okay. That wasn't good. Okay, I'm gonna try to clear out these huts if I can. Where's the entrance to this one? Is it over on the other side? Yeah, okay, here it is. Okay, let's see what we got here. I did just realize too that my trunk is basically full, so I can't take too much. I want to prioritize chemicals if I can. There we go. And there's another door. Let's see. Yep. I already got that. Okay, I think I got everything that I could out of there. Okay, my scrapper's running really low, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make another one of those. So I wonder what all this lead shielding is for. What? No! My scrapper! You can't just- Oh! Come on! Come on, bro. That wasn't nice. That was not nice. Let's see, what's in the back of this? Okay. Got another decal thing. Some more paint. Got one of those. Okay. Cool. Let's keep moving. Oh, hello. Oh, that means we have lights in here, or not. Okay. I'm gonna try to hang on to the... No! I don't have room for plasma? Come on! Okay, let's drop the scrap metal. I think the plasma is more important than that. Yeah, okay. Let's get back to the car. Yeah, I need more storage. Okay, let's just move on. Alright, so there are three more anchors in this little area here, so I'm just gonna place a waypoint in the middle and start heading that way. Yeah, well, let's try off-roading it, because what's the worst that could happen? Oh, hello. Golly. So it looks like I'm past most of the huge ele elevation changes. So let's grab this. That sounds like a bunny. Yep. Oh gosh! No, 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 no! No, no! I can't die! I can't die! I can't die! Oh no! No, 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 no! Please do not kill me, Mr. Bunny. I don't want to die today. Why do I have two bunnies on my car? Okay, let's use the limpo submitter. Hey, that actually did something. I think. Use it again. Get those things off. Get off of my car. Okay. Where in the world am I even? Okay, I'm way over. Okay, let's go back this way. Because I think that's the closest. There it is. 
Oh crap, man. That's that was nuts. Okay, let's get a first aid kit and the repair putty that I've got. Yeah, so I'm gonna use a first aid kit. Let's equip the repair putty. And get some on these panels here. Can I make more? Yeah, I'll make one more. Get some on the doors. And that headlight could use some. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry, is that another bunny on my vehicle? Get off! You're not welcome here. Okay, so I actually want to go toward the waypoint now. Okay, the last anchor. Let's grab you and get out of here. Get off of me, you stupid bunnies! Okay, so I think I need to put some distance between me and these anchor points so that I can actually open them. But how far away do you have to be for them to open up? Okay, there we got one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it. Alright, let's go toward the orange light in the sky. Get out of here. Yeah, the storm closes in a lot faster whenever you manually activate these things. Whoa! Hello. Don't you spin out on me! No! Come on, you can do it. Just into the light. Into the light! Whoa! Come on. That was probably the most lame exit <laughs> that I've ever accomplished. Okay, ooh, I got 7.2 stable no, energy. Thing about those anchor plugs, they use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Okay. Okay, very nice. Let's get the transfer trunk. Okay, put as much as we'll go in there and then put the rest of it in here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the dumpster pearl, actually. Yeah, what do I need the bulb for? Anything? Put the bulb up there next to the gears. So let's go ahead and put the dumpster pearl in there. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Was there more stuff that I needed out of here? Yeah, okay, but I don't want the transfer trunk for those. Let's just uh, use the vacuum to get all that. And why are you beeping at me? What do you got? Know that guy on the radio, the one talking about the trees? He's the key to all of this. But he lives in a stable pocket with no way in or out. Even time remains static there. Interesting. Okay, let's start moving all of this paint over. Move decals. Okay, so I got the dog sticker and the floppy disk. Uh, what do I do with the decal stamp? Can I put that in here? No. Okay, I can equip the decal numbers. Oh, I wonder if I can apply them? Interesting. So anyway, I don't really know what to do with the decal numbers. But, we've got off-white paint, gray, teal, green, evergreen, beige, crimson, red, and pink. We got plenty of blue and plenty of light blue. So yeah, I don't really know what I want to do with the colors. Ooh, I wonder if I could put the number decal on the hood. That might be kind of cool. What, I, what else do I got? So it's, okay, so where does the floppy disk go? Ooh, dogs! Ah, look at the look at the little doggies! Oh man, I love that. Okay. Okay, and there's the floppy disk. It looks like a disk that probably flops around while you drive. 
Nice. It's starting to become a personalized vehicle. I like it. I like it. Yeah, okay. I want to try this number decal on the hood and see what happens. Oh, hello. Okay. That's kind of cool, I guess. I almost want to get rid of this steel door and replace it with another one just to see if I can get rid of the wood panel. Because I, I love the wood paneling, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather have all of the doors be uniform than have that one just randomly with a wood panel on it. So let's see what happens if I craft another one. Okay, yeah, so now that doesn't have a wood panel. So I would like to save this in one of my lockers. Except it's so huge! Oh my gosh! Okay, maybe I won't save it. Maybe I'll just get rid of it. <laughs> oh, goodbye, steel pan- or er, wood paneled steel door. You've served me well. Oh, I can uh, get a lead apron at the outfitting station now. Radiation resist plus 20%. Uh, yes, please. And I'll just store these over here. And that locker. Okay, cool. Uh, go ahead and do the battery. Did I already do the fuel? Well, okay, what else do I have to do? <laughs> okay, so it wants me to put a repair putty in my trunk. So I will oblige, even though I keep running low on those. And it wants me to repair the car? You can't have both a repair putty in the trunk and a repaired vehicle. It doesn't work that way. Okay, so I... I'll go ahead and slap some putty on this steel panel. And I'll slap some on the limb emitter, limb pulse emitter. And then I will store the remainder in the trunk so it doesn't yell at me. Okay, and then it wants me to visit the friendly dumpster. With just some plasma and some plastic. Oh yeah, what does it cost to make a, an off-road tire? Okay, that's not too bad. That's basically exactly the same as a summer tire except with more, more rubber and scrap metal. Just, just a little bit. I might honestly just replace all of my tires right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip off these tires and put on the, put on off-road tires. If you're in a bind, pay a visit to the friendly dumpster out back. I always seem to find just what I need in there. Okay. I mean, I already went to the friendly dumpster. Does it have something else for me? Oh. Are you kidding me? I... Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make the off-road tires, and then after I get these installed, at that point, I will scrap all the spare tires that the friendly dumpster just gave me. There we go. Oh, those don't actually give me anything. Huh. Oh, okay, so I guess that's a... yeah, that's the lightning rod on the, on the panel back there. Yeah, okay, it's doing it's doing all right. I would like to color the door. Yeah, let's just go ahead and make it pink. Yeah, you know what? While I'm at it, I think I'll make these panels pink too. So that there's at least some continuity. Instead of the doors just randomly being pink. There we go. Look at that. Well, she may be an eyesore, but she's my eyesore. All right, and I think that's where we're going to call it for today. Thanks for joining me on another drive into the zone. Right, so again, if you have any name suggestions for the car, please drop them down in the comments. If you like the video, please drop a like, and please subscribe to stay tuned for future content. Ring the bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, take care, and have a blessed day.